Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be discussing segmentation within supply chains. What is segmentation? Segmentation is a process by which a firm determines which products flow through which channels or which supply chains. For example, a furniture store like Lazy Boy carries many different types of products in its store. Uh, for those of you who aren't from the US, uh, Lazy Boy is a very, very famous uh, furniture store throughout the US. Um, they're primarily known for their recliner chairs. Personally, I'm not a big recliner fan, um, but the recliner has gained in popularity throughout the US, um, and it kind of has this lazy boy reputation. You lazily lay on top of it. Um, it is very popular in the US. Um, so you walk through any lazy boy store, and you'll see of the vast number of products he has. Um, especially recliners, uh, that's what they're known for, but they also do carry a lot of other products. Um, if you look at all these products though, you'll see that not every product is equal. Uh, for example, if you have chair A here, it may be more valuable to the store in terms of revenues or profit margin versus another chair, let's say chair B. Uh, segmentation will shed some light on how and why chair A is treated differently from chair B. The most common way that segmentation is done for products is using an ABC analysis. ABC are simply the categories of products that you designate, A category, B category, and C category. That's why it's called an ABC analysis. Um, class A items are the most important items. They are usually just a few high impactful items because they matter the most. Um, so, for example, they may bring in the most revenues, or they may have the highest profit margins, or in some other metric. Um, therefore, they may require the most manager attention review. Class B items, on the other hand, are the ones in the middle. They have moderate impact and usually can benefit greatly from automated control. There are other videos on this website that you can watch that explains some of the inventory control methods that are really beneficial for the items in this class. Class C items are the trivial many. They make up most of the items in any store, but they have the least amount of impact. So for the Lazy Boy store, imagine some of these recliners that um, they do have in their inventory, but they don't really sell very frequently. They make up the long tail, and these are the items that you want to spend the least amount of time on. There are lots of groupings and categorizing, categorizing in ABC analysis, and it is a very widely used method. One important point is that the classification is rather arbitrary and can vary across different organizations. For example, uh, we can have partial classes like B plus items, C minus, C minus items, etc. We can also have additional classes like D, E, F, and so on. The grouping and categorization will vary. So now let's imagine that we walk into a large retail store like a Target in the US. Um, there are going to be thousands of SKUs or stock keeping units in the store. Um, the range of categories will also be vast. So if you walk through a Target, they sell pretty much everything. Um, there are goods in the dry foods category, frozen foods, clothing, cleaning supplies, furniture, electronics, etc. If we were to look at the sales volume, uh, or the, the sales value of the products of any given category, then what would the distribution look like? Would it be normal, uniform? If we were to look at all the sales, the volume of the sales across all of these products, how would it look like? What would the distribution look like? Uh, we'll be covering that in our next video. Thank you.